our Lord and Savior Gabe Newell, who I achieve, you know, the girlfriend. I'm very fortunate I get to do what, what I love doing. We'll go with two girls. It's a big risk trying to be a Dota 2 pro. I would probably actually say I would go with LD and Gods uh, in terms of what they've been able to build up with, uh, with sort of Beyond the Summit, sort of from the very old, well, original days of Dota 2, sort of the growth that they've been able to do. I mean, I always respect anyone that sort of goes out of the way to, to create a studio or just make tournaments happen. And I think those two, you know, they started something that's grown to be pretty huge. So LD and Gods for sort of being there at the start and playing a major part in just getting those two uh, sort of quality of coverage of events to where it is today. Harshest comment. I mean, I, I get a lot of those because, you know, a lot of people like to flame me if they don't like me shouting about the games and stuff. But the heart, a specific one, uh, I don't know if I can remember a specific one. I know, you know, some people will flame my accent. Some people flame when I get too excited in the games and I go, ah, and start screaming. They'll be like, oh, he's just screaming. He doesn't say what's happening. Why is he just making stupid noises? But yeah, hey, that's, I, 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 sometimes I can't help it. Something crazy happens, stupid noises have to come out. But uh, yeah, that's probably a, a common criticism from some of the people who dislike me that I, I just squeal a little too much. Favorite superhero? I mean, I'm not, I don't really watch, I'm not really into the superheroes too much. I mean, I'll probably, I'll probably go with Spider-Man, because I really, I, I'm not really someone who watches like all the, the superhero films, but I really like the Spider-Man 2 video game and the new Spider-Man game as well. So I'll go with Spider-Man. I cannot spend the whole day playing Dota 2, you know, I, act, I have to actually work. That's probably the, the one downside, the, the thing that I miss the most. You know, when I'm at home, I pretty much just sit on my PC, play Dota, stream all, the, stream all day. Uh, I t do take my laptop to some of the events to play, but obviously it's not the same as playing on your home setup. So definitely missing the opportunity to play Dota all day. But obviously it's it's an okay trade-off because I get to spend the day commentating, you know, the top teams in the world. So it's not the worst, but I definitely want to want to be playing more Dota. Oh my goodness, a topical and very hard question. Uh, I mean, I'll probably have to go with Gabe, and Keanu Reeves comes pretty close. But uh, you know, our Lord and Savior Gabe Newell. Uh, for everything that he's provided and all the TI invites that he's given me. Uh, and I'd, I'd have to go with Gabe Newell until sort of Keanu Reeves invites me to come and work alongside him. Uh, I'll have to go with Gabe for, for giving me the job opportunities. Definitely, yeah, oh, easily. I even I made a bit of wager with some of my fellow casters. I said it'll make, I said it'll hit 40 million. I don't know whether it will. I may have lost money on that, but I think it will definitely get close. It's, it's, it's definitely going to go over 30 million. Uh, realistically, maybe hits 35, but... I, I would not be surprised if, if it goes up even more. There's still a lot of stuff that Valve needs to release, you know, like the extra game mode, the extra treasures. They'll definitely provide a bit of a bump to the prize pool and, yeah, easily over 30 million. But who knows? It could go way over 30 if they add the right stuff. I have, at the moment, I, th I don't know exactly, but it's definitely over level 1,000. I always get over 1,000 because I just love getting the Aegis. I've collected them every year. And I, I never pushed to 2,000 for the Roshan. Definitely LD's one. The ding ding mother, and then fro insert frog sound here. Um, obviously, I, I, I do love the ones that they added of myself and Fogged. Uh, I, I do really like the one where it's, uh, you can't really tell who it is, but it is me, No Tell, and Fogged. Uh, it's the one that goes, it's just the stupid sounds. That is us laughing and making the sound effect of a ember spirit that's been ruptured and also feared by a dark willow. And it's the noise that he's making as he slowly dies. Uh, the, the noise, that, I think it was in some finals that me, No Tail, and, Yo and uh, Fob was casting. So that one's good fun. But uh, yeah, other than mine, definitely uh, LD's line, ding ding. I don't, I don't really cry at a lot of things. Sometimes, uh, even when I watch movies, uh, I got close to it. I, I played a really good game with a really good story called To the Moon. It's got a very emotional storyline, so that, that got me close. So if anyone wants to go for a tear joke, I highly recommend playing this uh, little indie game called To The Moon. It's got a great story. Fangirls? I don't think so, no, no, no. I mean, obviously, they, they all know that I'm with Sheev, so, you know, they don't bother trying, you know. It's hard competition, you know, Sheev's pretty amazing. So, uh, I don't know. I, I don't really receive messages like that, other than, you know, just like the ones that the lads send me, you know, saying that they enjoy my casting, you know, because, you know, obviously there is, there is a lot of girls that do watch and, you know, do enjoy the cast, but they don't send me anything rude. They just, you know, they appreciate what I do, and they'll send me messages saying that they enjoy what, what I do. Probably the ability to fly. I think that would be a pretty cool one. You know, as a caster, I like to be a bit of a showman and 
being able to fly is one that you could just do and people are going to be like, my goodness, you know, it's going to impress people and it's just going to look cool. And it'll be very handy, you know, I travel around the world a lot, so if I'm able to sort of just jump up into the air and fly over to the next country that the next Dota 2 lands on, it's going to make my life a little easier. Always, I do always love the personal stuff uh, from the fans. Uh, a lot of the times when I go out to Southeast Asia lands, there's a lot of uh, really good artists, so I get sort of, you know, given these really cool, like, little custom art, sometimes pictures of me, pictures of heroes. So I, I always love sort of homemade things. So whenever a fan brings me something that they've created, that's, you know, for me, that's the sort of special gift, something that someone is, feels passionate enough about you or just loves what you do enough to actually, you know, put time and effort into making something cool like a, like a drawing or, you know, like a, a piece of art or a little model. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of creative Dota 2 fans and it's always awesome to see them make those sort of gifts. Well, obviously, obviously Sheev, you know, the girlfriend. Um, pretty, yeah, pretty, yeah, Sheev. I think that's probably a safe, it's a good, it's the right answer. It's, it's a true answer. Yeah, Sheev. Uh, I would, I'd keep doing what I do, you know, I'd just keep casting my lands, keep playing Dota. I'm very fortunate I get to do what, what I love doing and I couldn't really imagine doing anything that I would love even more, so I, it wouldn't change anything. I'd, I'd still keep rocking up to the lands and just enjoying the Dota. I do. Well, I don't play the, I play the Underlords. I, I used to play Dota Auto Chess, but obviously with Underlords out now, that's my, uh, my game of choice because it's... You know, with all the traveling, it's so handy to have it on the mobile. So we've, we've all been playing a lot of it on the mobile phones here. Well, I mean, I guess you have to go with the Queen of Pain because she is the succubus. You know, it's all sort of part of the law. And in terms of the guy, or it could be, well, it could be another girl. Um, we'll, I'll, I'll go, we'll go with two girls. You know, I'll pick the Queen of Pain and I'm trying to think. I mean, a lot of them, they're all very pretty. Uh, we'll go with Lena. She's got a good attitude. We'll go with some Lena and Quap. I mean, if they wanted to. I wouldn't, you know, it depends what they want to do. If they enjoy playing games, if they, if, you know, their heart's set on it, they start watching it from an early age and start playing as well, then, you know, sure, I'd support them. I know it's something that can happen. I'd obviously encourage them to do something else on the side because it's not an easy career and it, it, you have to sacrifice a lot to be at the top. And, you know, I, I, I'm sure as a parent, it's not necessarily the easiest thing to watch your kid try and do because it's a big risk trying to be a Dota 2 Pro, but definitely if it was something that I felt, you know, they actually wanted to do, I, I'd certainly help it and encourage it and, and try and, you know, get them the best sort of guidance and, you know, try and ask fellow favors from my, my analysts to give them that extra bit of tutoring so they could be at their best, but I wouldn't force them to. It, it would be down to what they want to do.